if you ever ordered something in the mail and it comes in so you're excited to go home and play with it go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button I know it's only temporary the construction that's over here but man I drive this road a lot and there used to be some lights that were just there for no reason I mean they were there for a reason obviously like cross traffic so they could get in but off a side street by the lake but man is it nice to just cruise through here without having to stop just cruising through I really enjoy it I'm probably one of the few people that's gonna tell you I actually like the construction going on most people it's the bane of their existence because it breaks up the way they go to work or the way they do whatever they're doing in their normal route this is actually pretty nice so it's gonna be kind of sad when the construction's gone and they got this beautiful bridge built for everybody to ride on but you gotta stop as soon as you get off the bridge so today on Texas Motor Rock we are unboxing and trying out a new Jimmy pedal 30th anniversary limited edition the Nobles ODR1 So the Nobles pedal is famous in the country circuit for being the overdrive that people use. It's not like a Tube Screamer and it's not like a Klon. It does something different. A lot of people call it a natural overdrive. It kind of takes your guitar tone. It doesn't really tighten it up. It just kind of expresses more of what you want out of it. Where a Klon and a Tube Screamer have a mid hump. so guitar having a lot of mids that is what you want to hear for kind of driving push in a mix the clon and the tube screamer work in rock and blues and things so that you can get that mid hump to push in out of the mix when you got drums bass vocals going on so not so much with the ODR it's kind of more known for being a very light overdrive it's not really metal it can get some some hair to it it's got some headroom you can also run it in 18 volts instead of 9 volts so you can have even more headroom so I ordered a limited edition one because I want to try a couple of ODR pedals and this is the first one I could get my hands on and I want to experiment with using it in different contexts but before today we might end up using it in just a little country track I'm gonna run it into my Gibson Skylark the combination that I tend to like on that amp is running a Paluso P87 which is a U87 clone alongside a Sennheiser E609 and because I don't have a real analog delay at least not one with tap tempo the closest thing I'm gonna run to have a little bit of ambience behind it is going to be my boss giga delay it's the DD20 it's an older model I've had it like 20 years but I'll use the Boss Giga Delay DD20 on the dual setting, which means it's gonna be putting an eighth note into a quarter note. And that's it. The only other thing I'm gonna use is a volume pedal to kind of do swells and to drive it into the delay. So let's get to the studio and check out the unboxing. So in 1993, the company named Nobles entered into the pedal market and came out with what's called the Green Natural Overdrive ODR1. That pedal went on to become a, a Nashville staple. Country artists were using it on every album. Pretty much 
in the in the 90s and the 2000s they kept using them that's pretty cool and it became such a staple that it was like a the hidden treasure the company ended up making a lot of money off the originals but then the designer left the company so then the company they reissued their famous ODR1 natural overdrive pedal and they decided to make it in gold. Oh, look at that. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. There's a little guitar pick. That's so cool. 30th anniversary. Put that down. Limited edition 30th anniversary ODR1. 4,400 of 5,000. Guess a sticker. And check that out. If I can get this thing out of here. Look at that. That's cool. There's the battery compartment. I don't know how to open this. I don't really plan on putting a battery in it, so I guess it really doesn't matter if I put get this open or not. I really am just going to use this uh, pedal power going through the amp. So the thing that this pedal was famous for is having a spectrum knob, a level, and a drive. The spectrum is not a tone knob. What it does is it goes between kind of like a cut knob on a Vox amp where you can cut your high and it affects your low and your low affects your high. But in this one, it actually affects the mid range. So to counter that, what they did is they added a much requested bass knob right here. So there's a little bitty knob that you can bring the bass back in that gets cut out and you can pull it in or you can cut it out. And that was mainly because some people felt like it was adding too much bass if they were playing a humbucker guitar per se, or they were maybe even some tellies, maybe too much bass. So with the bass control, some people wanted to have the ability to bring it back in or take it out. And just in conjunction with the spectrum knob, based on if you're switching different guitars, say you're playing a Telecaster one set and then you're playing a Les Paul on another, you know, or even a Strat, you want to have that control to bring that bass in and out as needed so that you can make the drive work in the same way on your board, you know. P different people have different tastes, different things. So they added that. Before, it used to be a switch on the inside of here, and you had no control over how much you brought in or out. You just flipped the switch over. They actually made it a small rotary knob up here so that you can bring it back in or dial it in however you want. It still takes nine volt. You've got your in, out, and you still have a remote access, so you can run a remote out so you can turn the pedal on and off engage that way instead of having to actually hit the pedal. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. I'm just going to really try it out. We'll figure out what it sounds like. All right, let's check it out.
So in the mix, the ODR1 for a natural odor overdrive. Surprisingly, I'm not running a lot of gain on it. It might sound like it, but I'm running it in nine volts with just a little bit of headroom. And it really does give just enough of a little boost that it sits very well in the mix. Especially considering I'm only playing an acoustic guitar for the rhythm parts and a little acoustic melody in the background trying to work it to sound like a dobro. But that electric sits, sits really nicely in that mix. And I don't even have bass, drums, vocals, you know, other instruments in there. It's a very basic mix. It sounds really good. So the ODR1, I, it comes with that bass, that bass cut knob. And man, I think that thing is a game changer. I haven't tried a regular ODR1, but that really does seem to do a hell of a lot to help control and shape your, your tone that you would want. So I'm color me impressed. I actually really dig the pedal. I think I'm gonna definitely use it on a board that I'm building for a project that I'll talk about coming up soon. So dad advice, getting projects done so that you can do the things that you wanna do. Sometimes we do a bunch of things that we don't wanna do. And that could be just a simple thing of mowing the yard, you know, working on the fence, doing basic things, cleaning house, doing laundry, whatever it is, there's other tasks that we have to do in life in order to be able to get to the things we want to do. And instead of procrastinating, you set the example whenever you actually do those tasks and get them done. And if you can, include your kids. Have them come help you. Have them see that it's something they can look forward to and then reward it afterwards with something that they can get out of it. You know, give them a treat. Maybe share ice cream with them. You know, take them out for a little drive. Do something with them. So they can see that there's fun that they can do after, but you have to do the tasks now to get to the fun. And sometimes the, the tasks aren't fun, but include them. And I know I've said it before, including them, I know it's hard. Sometimes it's easier and faster if you do it yourself but it will pay in dividends if you actually work with them and have them try to help you take your time, have patience, slow down the process and actually show them. Because they're gonna do the same with their kids. They're not gonna know any different. They're gonna think that's the right way to do it. And it is. All right, that's all for dad advice. Remember, pull hard, play hard. <laughs>